Um, that's a great question. The EICU technology, um, I think, has a role to, to be considered for critical care management in these patients. It has been developed to have a very high fidelity cameras. We can really examine patients, get lots of information, lots of data that without really entering the room on the patients. So I do think there's a role for that. However, the EICU technology should not be applied to necessarily be remotely monitored by people who aren't involved directly in taking care of these sorts of patients. So if it's to be used, it would be used and fed to be used by the people directly managing in your Ebola treatment team in your local area without having to enter the patient's room. That's, that's my view. Yeah, I agree with Michael. I think it's a slight uh, change in the way that EICU technology is fielded. But the technology itself will reduce the burden of time in the room. And I think that is one of the most important things when you're caring for patients with Ebola. The more data that you can get remotely um, so that you can reduce the volume of people and the, and the time that people need to be in the room, the better. Uh, and that technology, again, has gotten fairly good at being able to look at ventilator settings, to be able to look at, at a variety of different physiologic uh, settings to be able to not have to be in the room consistently. I also agree with Michael that this is not a situation currently where uh, it requires a third party who's at a distance monitoring. Really, if your unit does not have the capability of, uh, of intensivists who are committed to Ebola care, of other subspecialists who are committed to Ebola care, um, you really shouldn't be taking care of folks with Ebola, at least at the volume of patients that we have now. And I don't expect the orders of magnitude to change that quickly uh, in this outbreak. So I think people would have to think about it differently. It's not uh, in the ICU where it's one person monitoring multiple different units. It's really just using the technology they have to reduce the burden in the room.